Now what you use the front side of the flight computer for is basically to multiply or divide. And to multiply or divide, what you do is you set a ratio in the flight computer. So take a look back to where the 10 is on top of the 10. And let's assume the FAA says to you that you have traveled one mile in one minute. And the question is, how fast are you traveling? Well, what you need to do then is to set a ratio up on the flight computer. And that's the ratio we have right here. We've got 10 on the outside scale, in this case representing one mile, because we don't have a one on the flight computer. And the 10 on the inside scale represents one minute, because we don't have a one for minutes either on the inside scale of the flight computer. So we've got one mile on the outside scale next to one minute on the inside scale, and we've got a ratio there, and it's a one-to-one -one ratio. Now, just off the top of your head, just thinking about it, without looking any further on the flight computer, if it took you one minute to travel one mile, if you're covering a mile every minute, how fast are you going? Well, you're going 60 miles an hour. That's what it means when you're traveling 60 miles an hour. You're covering a mile every minute. But to verify that, let's look around on the inside scale of the flight computer until you find 60 minutes. And when you find 60 minutes, there should also be a nice black arrow to help it stand out, which you can see there. When you find the 60 minutes on the inside scale, on the outside scale of the flight computer, it tells you how many miles you're going to cover in that 60 minutes. And you're going to cover 60 miles in 60 minutes, or 60 miles an hour. So what you've done is you've set up a ratio on the flight computer. If you cover one mile in one minute, how many miles will you cover in 60 minutes? And in this case, you're going to cover 60 miles in 60 minutes because it's a one-to-one -one ratio. Now, let's assume the FAA says again you've traveled one mile, but instead of doing it in one minute, when you travel that mile, it takes you two minutes instead. So if you travel one mile in two minutes and you want to know how fast you're traveling, in this case we still use the, the 10 on the outside scale to represent the one mile that we traveled, but now we need to put the 20 on the inside scale underneath it to represent two minutes. So the, we move the inner scale around until the 20 on the inside scale representing two minutes is lined up underneath the 10 on the outside scale which represents one mile. And again we're setting up a ratio. In this case the ratio that we're traveling one mile in two minutes. Now just off the top of your head, if you traveled one mile but it took you two minutes instead of taking you one minute, how fast are you now traveling? Well, you're going 30 miles an hour because you're traveling half as fast as you were before. But let's confirm that by looking around the flight computer. So move the whole flight computer. You've already got your ratio set up. Move the whole flight computer around and find that 60 minutes on the inner scale. And when you find that on the inner scale, the outside scale will tell you how many miles you're going to cover in that 60 minutes. And sure enough, you're going to cover 30 miles in that 60 minutes or 30 miles an hour. And the ratio that you've got set up here is a one to two ratio. One mile in two minutes is the same as 30 miles in 60 minutes, a one to two ratio, and that ratio holds all the way around the flight computer. And that would apply whether it was one mile in two minutes, 35 miles in 70 minutes, or 40 miles in 80 minutes. That's the same ratio all the way around.